This video accompanies Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi. In this video, you will learn how to read from and write to a text file. In addition to a Raspberry Pi 4 or 3 and the usual peripherals, that is to say a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor, you will also need a sense hat. You may also use a sense hat emulator if you do not have an actual sense hat device. Text files can be opened in read-only mode, write-only mode, as well as read-write mode. In this video lecture, we'll demonstrate how to open a text file in write mode and read-write mode. The simplest way to open a text file is to use the open function, which returns a file object. Although the open function is defined to have eight parameters, we'll only pass arguments for the parameter file and the parameter mode. The default parameter value of mode is R, which corresponds to read only. To open a file in write-only mode, pass the string W or X as the argument. To open a file in read-write mode, pass the string R plus as the argument. Some other valid modes, which will not be considered in this video lecture, are for appending to a file and for accessing a binary file. A file should always be closed when access is no longer needed. The close method can be called on the file object in order to close the file. A better way of opening a file, however, is by using the with statement, that is, with open, the name of the file, followed by the mode, as my file. Then the close method does not need to be explicitly called on the file object. The file will be closed even if an exception is not properly handled. There are several ways of writing to a file, using the write method, the write lines method, and also using the print function. There are also several ways of reading from a file, including using the read method, the read line method, and the read lines method, and you can also iterate over the file object itself. Four kinds of exceptions can occur when a file is opened. The file not found error will occur, for instance, if an attempt is made to open a file in read-only mode that does not exist. The file exists error will occur if an attempt is made to open a file in X mode that already exists. This is useful if you want to ensure that the contents of a file are not accidentally overwritten. There is a directory error will occur if an attempt is made to open a directory. The permission error will occur if an attempt is made to open a file for which you do not have the appropriate permission. We'll write a script that uses a sense hat to get 10 humidity readings in intervals of one second and write the measurement number, the humidity, and the current time to a file named sensor.txt. We'll begin by importing the sleep function and the see time function from the time module. The see time function returns the current time in human friendly form. We'll also import the sense hat class from the sense hat package. And we'll use a try accept statement. We'll assign an instance of the sense hat class to the variable sense. We'll open the sensor.txt file for write access using a with statement. The for loop will iterate 10 times. Each iteration of the loop, the measurement number, the humidity, and the current time will be written to the file object, sensor underscore file. We use a format function to format the humidity to three decimal places. Notice that sensor underscore file is passed by keyword argument. Omitting the file identifier wouldn't cause an error. However, the data, including the file object information, would be written to the shell instead of to the file. And we'll suspend the loop for one second. And the try accept statement will handle a generic exception rather than a particular exception. We'll save the script. And run it. You can open the sensor.txt file from the file manager or from the terminal. On each line is the measurement number, the humidity formatted to three decimal places, and the time of the measurement in human friendly format. Next, we'll modify the script so that it also reads in all of the humidity data from sensor.txt and prints it out to the shell. We'll then get 10 more humidity measurements and write them to the sensor.txt file without overwriting the previous contents. In order to enable read write access, we'll change the argument passed for mode from w to R plus. We'll add a for statement to iterate over the file object. Each iteration of the for loop, a line of the sensor.txt file will be printed out. We'll save the script and run it. The 10 humidity measurements are read in from sensor.txt and printed out to the shell. 10 more humidity measurements will be written to the file without overriding the first 10 measurements. 
These are the contents of sensor.txt after the modified script has been run. Go to www.learningiot.net for links to where you can buy Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi.